John Marshall and, and uh, John Roberts. Uh, John Marshall, for all of the reasons that Dick Thompson just told you, but also John Marshall asserted the uh, primacy of the Supreme Court as the body that makes a decision on whether or not a law is valid and how it should be applied. And at that time, at this time, that's no big deal because we all know that's what the Supreme Court does. But at that time, back in 1789, Thomas Jefferson, for example, didn't agree with it. Thomas Jefferson thought that each of the three separate branches of the government could make their own decision about what a law meant and whether it was constitutional. And so John Marshall, in cases like Marbury versus Madison and uh, McCulloch versus Maryland, asserted not only his own uh, robustness as a chief justice, and he wasn't the first chief justice, by the way, he was the third. Most people don't realize that, but the first two were insignificant. He was the third. And he asserted all those things and put the Supreme Court on the footing that it is now. Uh, my second choice would be a living justice, which again would be John Roberts. And that's what I wrote on my card. Uh, because I not only think he's probably one of the most brilliant men who's ever been on the bench, I think he's got the, uh, the judicial temperament to really bring the court together and to focus on the values that we all have when it comes to the Constitution. Thank you.